Hello guys, in this video, we are going to host the movie app that we previously created as a Netlify site. So to begin, let's uh, sign up in Netlify. We go to netlify.com and uh, hit sign up. And then uh, we'll sign up by email and we'll enter my email ID here and we'll give it a password and we'll hit sign up. And this will lead us to this check your email. So we'll go to our email and verify our email. You can see we have received an email from Netlify. So we'll just verify the image from here. Then uh, it will ask a few questions. So we'll just fill that. The name of our team is AG Tech. The work is personal. We are engineering and development team, which describes you team leader. Uh, how big is your company? One to 10. And what do you want to do? Learn about that. And we'll click setup and continue. Uh, it will give a quick start guide. So we do not have any sites at present. So we can either create a site from Git, that is uh, we can link our GitHub account and add the folder from there. So this will provide a continuous CICD experience. We'll do that uh, some other day. But for this project, since we have uh, all our files locally, we'll just drag and drop the output folder. So uh, we'll just go into this output folder and we have all the files inside this folder called movie app. So it, this has the index.html uh, script and the styled CSS. So we'll take the movie app folder. Okay, and we'll just drag and drop into the uh, Netlify uh, browser. And that's it. Your site is deployed. Okay, if we click on this uh, link here, this will load the movie app that we had created. That's how you host a simple HTML CSS and JavaScript site uh, on Netlify. And you can do much more things like set up a custom domain and you can secure with HTTPS and all those things. Uh, but we'll leave it uh, like this uh, for now. At present, we have hosted the movie app on Netlify and you can access it through this link. I'll put this in the description of this video. You can check that out. So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.